all right good morning everyone um welcome to my patreon page and um today we are going to be talking about dodging and burning we're going to be talking about dodging and burning for skin retouching and um let's get started so um dodging and burning is um a technique a photoshop technique whereby we add light and um add sh um add light or hard shadow to certain areas of the image in order to make it look flawless in order to make it look even so um, this image that we have here today um, what I'm going to be doing is to retouch this with dodging and burning technique however you can merge both dodging and burning and frequency separation together when you are doing your retouch alright so but if if you don't want to do that you could just do just dodging and burning and dodging and burning is a very good technique that helps you to retain the skin texture so let's get started the first thing when you open your image in photoshop if you want to do your dodging and burning the first thing you need to do is to heal the skin to remove the blemishes so we're going to create a blank layer we'll take our healing brush tool set it to correct and below 50 percent hardness 50% hardness and you reduce the brush size so we'll zoom into the image we'll zoom into the image and begin to remove the unwanted blemishes your unwanted skin texture on the image so now for your dodging and burning to look very good your blemish remover has to be very good so if you use a bigger brush size you are going to leave obvious traits that yes you retouch you remove something there so that's why you need to use a very small brush and you used to you need to use a 50 percent hardness brush so that you can still make it look natural so what you do with the healing brush is that you sample an area that has good texture and you brush over areas that don't have good texture so for example see what i've done so far you can see how that place already looks good so you sample an area that has good texture, paint over an area that doesn't have good texture. So you will have even, you know, you will have the skin looking very good. You might be tempted to increase the size of your brush, but um, I've not, I've, you know, be able to, with practice, I've been able to understand that the smaller your brush, the better your results will be, your, be your results will come out more realistic than when you increase the brush size over the particular blemish you want to remove so but one of the key is that use areas of similar similar brightness and similar texture pattern so for example this is a bright skin texture i shouldn't sample from this dark spot and paint here it's not going to look good instead i should sample from an area that has bright texture as well and brush over it you can see that so the healing normally takes a lot of time you could also use um, your clone stamp too but I prefer the healing brush for this because the healing brush finds a way to make sure you know the the um, patching is is looking even and flawless but for for clone stamp too you know you can easily make mistake using a close time tool so what we're just doing is just to heal areas of the skin to ensure that you know the skin looks very good so let me show you what we've done so far so look at this so if you look before and after you can see that gradually this region we're already making progress all right so you can take your time and um, finish it up ensure that the skin looks very good and flawless so when you can get your healing very well you know it will be easy for you to do your dodging and burning your dodging and burning becomes a lot easier when you have removed unwanted blemishes because the skin will already look good okay so because i don't want this tutorial to be long and um, i don't want to spend ton of time you know uh, you know editing this video i just want to drop it straight from the recording 
all right so i'm i'm going to show you the finished result at the end so i'm going to stop here but i have an I, I have the image already edited okay so but i'm going to show you that at the end so what this was what i did i removed the blemishes gradually like that all throughout the image okay so let's just concentrate on this area so that when we are doing our dodging and burning we can fix this area and see the results okay so once you have you are done cleaning up the image all through everywhere you know if we are, once you are done cleaning up the image let's see what we've done look see the patches so you could take your time and patch everywhere on the skin you know when you are done with that the next thing you have to do is your dodging and burning all right so even this patching i'm saying you can also this blemish remover you can also retouch the eyes because this is a very tight close-up you know you could retouch the eye to ensure that you know you reduce all these red veins going through the eye socket to make it look more uh, interesting and better so you can see this red part in the eye you could remove it you can clean it up with your healing brush so you can see that all right so that is it so you could take your time and clean up the entire image you see around the lip here even on the nose you see around the lip you could come you could clean it up to make it look better all right so i've already retouched this image so that i will show you guys the entire thing i did so let's proceed to the next so after you're done cleaning up the entire image from start to finish every part of it with the healing brush you see that you know you cannot point to where i removed anything simply because when i was using my healing brush i made sure the size was very small and i also made sure that it was 50 percent hardness so the next thing is to do dodge and burn i'm going to show i'm going to give you guys this um, dodge and burn action all right so when you click on arrow a dodge and burn okay so you can see the help layers and you can see the dodge and burn first of all when i want to use the help layer i only use this luminosity check so when i use this luminosity check the next thing i do is that i open brightness and contrast and i increase the contrast and i increase the brightness a bit to my taste so that's what i do okay then i open this my dodge dodge and bond stack so you can see corrective dodge and bond strong corrective dodge and bond normal and then corrective uh, con dodge and bond contour so i start with the strong corrective dodge and bond so this will be for areas that are very dark that i want to lighten up so how you do this is that the spots that are dark you are going to lighten them up while the spots are bright you are going to darken them okay so you use a very low flow so let's use two percent flow so i'll come to areas that are dark so let me show you this for example you can see under the chin here you can see it is very dark so i'm going to add light to that place so ensure for people that are, people that are using you know um graphics tablets soft round pressure opacity but if you are using your mouse you can use the soft round brush okay so i'm going to add light to this area so if you see i'm going to add light to this area i'm going to add light to this area I'm going to add light i can also add light to you know you can see this dark spot on the lip so most times my eyes just goes to the areas that are dark and i just begin to lighten them up i just begin to lighten them up so you can see this area for example so we just lighten it up lighten it up so let's see what we've done so far before and after so that's how you gradually retouch the entire skin okay so you can see areas like this so one other thing i recommend that you do is that you can split your document into two so that you'll be able to see okay see see what i mean you come to window come to arrange 
come to new window come to window come to arrange and you do two up vertical so here you have the image in full here you have you know the uh, zoomed in image so that any effect you do here will take place here so you don't have to zoom in and zoom out you can easily remove you know areas if you look at this area now you know as i'm brushing it is taking place so i can be seeing the full image i don't have to zoom in and zoom out you know in order to get what i am looking for so this technique takes a lot of time all right so but it's just for you to for you to be very patient and even at the skin as much as possible you can also you know you can also go overboard with this if you are not seeing the full image so if you see now there's one bright highlight here so i'm going to use my bone and then darken that region together so you can see so what we are doing with this dodging and bone is that we are adding light you know when you use frequency separation and you are mixing it's the same thing you are doing you are trying to mix you know the shadows and the highlights so that it can be even so this dodging and burning helps you to do similar stuff but just that the dodging and burning takes a lot of time so if i'm going to retouch this image it will take me quite a while to do this dodging and burning all around the skin to ensure i get what i am looking for so i don't know if you can see i, I don't know if you can see okay so like i was saying the it, you just have to be very patient when you are retouching with the dodging and burning technique you know adding light you know you can make things look even with you know this dodging and burning makes your image look more natural than frequency separation does all right but frequency separation is very fast and very easy however added to this video i'm going to put a, a i'm going to add um a video that will also give you an you know, more explanation about this dodging and burning you can see there's one shadow here so let me just take that out you can see so you can increase and reduce the size of your brush depending on the area you want to work on yes so um you can see that with this dodging and burning you can fix virtually a lot of parts of the image you can see this dark spot around the eye you know you could dodge it so the thing it takes a lot of time for you to just spot all the areas that have imperfections that have shadows that have i've noticed i do more of the dodging than burning so people do both of them uh, well i do both though but you know i do more of dodging i find dark spot easily than the light spot so, but however both of them are supposed to go side by side you know when you 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 brighten an area and you know it's not bright enough you could darken the areas around it and it will match better so that is how so let me show you my results uh, because this will take me a lot of time to do all of this but just see what we've done so far so the corrective dodge and one see before and after you can see let me put turn off the app, app layers so you can see how the skin looks better so let me show you my final result okay so this was the one i edited that i took you know a bit of time to edit so this was when i cleaned up the skin with my um, healing brush so while i was quite um I was not so um, patient to to fix some areas properly okay so then this was my dodge and bond so you can see so let me open it so you can see this is the strong dodge and bond you can see that before after you can see how the skin looks even and the texture is still intact i don't think i did anything on the normal i only use the strong for this image and you can see how it looks then i did the contour i did the contour to add light to where there was light initially so this is before and after this is before and after 
so using the dodging or burning technique gives you a very realistic looking image all right so i'm going to send this video with the action and as well a link to a video that will also explain some silly things i did not explain about dodging and burning okay so but however you if you have any question you could drop it below and i would answer it then i will drop this the link to this raw file so that you can practice with it and send your results please do not post on any social media you just practice to show me you know send to our whatsapp group and everything will be good so you can see this is the help the um, healing layer and uh, you cannot really see the dodge and burn uh, until i open this so but however you get the point so thank you so much for your time and uh, enjoy your day